he's okay right here. Okay? All right. Ooh, look at what you guys have. I like Buzz Lightyear, do you? I don't know if you were listening to the scripture that Pastor Verla just, just read, but that's what we're going to talk about a little bit. So I'm going to give each of you a bottle of water. And now I know that you two bigger boys play sports. What do you play, Jackson? Football. Football. What about you, Sash? Basketball. Basketball. What do you play, Gray? Basketball. Basketball. All right. Do you play toys? Well, he likes to play ball. We play ball at my house. We throw it back and forth. So that's the beginnings of basketball. Yeah? Yeah. Well, when you're playing sports and you play really hard, you get thirsty, right? So what do you drink? Water. Water. Is that the only thing people drink when they get thirsty? No. No. Some people drink... Other things, for example, some people might want to drink a sports drink. On TV, they advertise how wonderful these sports drinks are for you, and that they they help give you back things that you might have sweated out of your body, and they really convince you that you know what, maybe that that might be the way to go. Besides that, they taste good, right? Yeah. Yeah? Some of them do. <laughs> yeah, like the orange Gatorade doesn't, the blue and red Gatorades do. Okay. So anyway, it kind of makes it hard to know what's best. Should we drink this that tastes good and maybe replaces some of the things that you've sweated out? Or should we drink water that we all know is good for us? Yeah, it's kind of hard to make a decision. Well, one day Jesus was, was walking through a town in Samaria, and he stopped at a well, and along came a Samarian woman. And he talked to her. He asked her about a drink. He asked if he could get a drink from her. Well, she was shocked because Jews, which that's what Jesus was, Jews don't really talk, or at that time didn't really talk to people from Samaria. It just wasn't something they did. So she was a little taken back because she just wasn't sure about him talking to her. So Jesus told her that he could give her living water. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to open your waters and I want you to take a drink. And every time I say the way, say the word water. Every time I say the word water, uh -huh, you're going to take a drink. So you're going to have to listen carefully. Did you get a drink? Okay. Did you get one drink? Take one drink. All right. Now, this is how why I'm going to have to read this because I said I have to say water in all the right places. Okay. She didn't understand what he was talking about, so she said, you don't have anything to get water in. Jackson, you're drinking still. Did I say water? No. Oh, no, I did. <laughs> I did say water. She said he didn't have anything to get water in. Okay? Well, not that time. <laughs> So she says, how can you give me living water? Then Jesus said, whoever drinks from the water, from this well will, well will be thirsty again, right? You get thirsty after drink, drinking water, right? You just don't drink it once and then aren't thirsty until, you know, three or four days you down the road. Something. Right. But whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst again. Wow. I'm not thirsty anymore. 
Right, not right now. Water. You're all going to need to go to the bathroom here in Sunday school. <laughs> that would satisfy your thirst so you would never be thirsty again. That's pretty amazing. Jesus wasn't talking about our thirst for water from a well. He was talking about our thirst for God. The Bible teaches us that we have a thirst in our heart for the living God, and that is a thirst that only Jesus can satisfy. So when we have Jesus in our heart, he satisfies our thirst for God, and we will never thirst again. Jesus is life, so we need to drink it up. Let's pray. Maybe you should put your lids on real fast. What if you say water during the prayer? Well, you know what? Maybe I will. I didn't think about that. Okay, dear Lord, you have given us Jesus, the living water. May we drink of your living water so we will never thirst again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, you can have your waters. Okay, I'll give yours to Mama then. Okay, and you go to Sunday school. I love you.